Road to GH will reveal developments on Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. First, Lucky stands by the hospital window, his eyes following the dark clouds drifting across the sky, his heart heavy with worry about Lulu's upcoming liver transplant. The thought of his sister facing a life-or-death battle makes it impossible for him to concentrate. The concerns seem to intertwine, not only surrounding Lulu's health, but also because of his mother, Laura's, unexplained absence. At this moment, Lucky feels lost. He has always relied on his mother in difficult times. But now, when things have become more complicated and darker than ever, she isn't here. That absence weighs heavily on Lucky's mind, adding to the mental burden that has already been mounting. Turning to Liz wasn't a decision he had to think too much about, but deep down, he knew that her presence would help him find some balance again. The overwhelming emotions inside him were silently shared through their gazes, through Liz's gentle presence. Although there were no direct words of comfort, her understanding and empathy helped ease Lucky's mental burden, if only temporarily. Second, after days of being exhausted with tangled thoughts, Lucky finally hears that his mother, Laura, will return to Port Charles. This news comes like a ray of light in the dark night where Lucky had been lost for so long. The weight he thought would be impossible to remove, facing Lulu's liver transplant and the emptiness without his mother, is now gradually lifting. The relief doesn't just come from knowing Laura will be there during this crucial family moment but also from the hope that this reunion will help Lucky regain the balance he had lost. Laura has always been the one to bring peace and stability to the family. Every time she's around, Lucky feels like everything becomes lighter, no matter how difficult the situation. Her return this time is, isn't just a physical presence. It is an affirmation that the family remains intact, that he is not alone in this fight. The worries and pressures about Lulu's condition will be eased by the presence of the one Lucky trusts the most. Their family reunion will not be just an ordinary meeting, but a healing moment for all the fears and anxieties that have weighed on Lucky for so long. Along with his mother, he will regain the faith and strength to face this great challenge. What once seemed impossible to overcome now seems achievable with Laura's return. In the end, Lucky realizes that nothing is more important than having family by your side during the toughest times. Third, Jason and Anna find a quiet corner to talk privately, far from the prying eyes of others. Both feel a subtle tension filling the space as they recall the kiss that happened in Africa. It was an unexpected and awkward moment, an unwanted mark on their relationship which should have remained based on trust and teamwork. As the conversation begins, neither knows what to say first. Both feel awkward, not only because of the kiss, but also because of the mixed feelings that arose afterward. Jason, known for his cold demeanor and lack of emotional expression, tries to find the right words to convey his thoughts without hurting Anna. Meanwhile, Anna, always confident and strong, surprisingly finds it difficult to express herself. They quickly realize that the kiss was not the beginning of anything significant. Although there was a slight stir of emotion, they both understand that this relationship will never develop romantically. Between them, the feelings remain at a level of mutual respect as trustworthy colleagues and allies. In the end, they agree that what happened in Africa was just a fleeting moment, an emotional mistake that shouldn't be repeated. The conversation ends with a sense of relief, as both Jason and Anna understand that their feelings won't evolve into anything more complicated. They return to their original relationship, no longer confused about what happened, but with a clear understanding of the boundaries of their friendship and teamwork. Next, Christina sits alone in a dark room, her mind filled with chaotic thoughts. John's death case makes her feel like she's been pushed into a dark corner with no way out. The fear and anxiety swirl deeper into her mind as everything seems to be falling apart. She knows Alexis is facing serious legal risks, and Christina is determined to protect her mother from the law. However, she also realizes that her involvement could put her in danger. Christina is confused about how to handle this situation. She wants to protect Alexis, but at the same time, she's afraid that acting too hastily could harm herself. Her biggest concern is that her actions could unintentionally hurt Sonny, whom she also wants to protect. 
balancing the need to keep secrets, protect her family, and avoid affecting those she loves is causing Christina to feel trapped. Her decisions seem blurry and unclear. Everything is connected to John's case, and Christina knows that just one wrong move could cost her everything. Her family, her freedom, and even her own safety. Now she must find a way to face the situation, but in her chaotic mind every path seems to lead to danger. Finally, Carly and Brennan meet at Bobby's diner. Carly lowers her voice, careful not to let anyone nearby overhear. She knows that John's case is becoming an increasingly serious threat, and any wrong move could put Sonny in danger. Brennan sits across from her, his eyes fixed on Carly as she lays out what they need to do to protect Sonny. They must act quickly, discreetly, and most importantly, stay vigilant. Although Bobby's diner is familiar, it's not completely safe. Anyone could pass by and hear something they shouldn't. Their conversation continues, and both Carly and Brennan begin to realize that they are moving beyond just being allies in this situation. Brennan's gaze lingers a bit too long at times, and Carly notices the subtle changes in how he interacts with her. Their relationship no longer seems purely professional. There is a different connection, one that is more complex, and they both recognize it but are hesitant to admit it. When Carly places her hand on the table, Brennan unconsciously leans closer. Amidst the calculated words about protecting Sonny, there are small, meaningful moments that belong only to them. While the worry about the case still lingers, something else is quietly developing. The relationship between Carly and Brennan is no longer just about crisis management. It may evolve into something more in the days to come. However, both know they can't let anyone find out. A conversation overheard at Bobby's diner could ruin all their plans, not only affecting Sonny, but also their own futures.